Looking at the next 12 months now, mm -hmm. KB Croft, what are you up to? Are you staying? Are you going? Come on. I mean, I know we're two years what? away. Are you still happy in the position of being head of Live Van? Or are you going to let Laurie take the mantle? That is something that Laurie and I have been discussing recently. Um, and you'll know when we make a decision. Oh, so that sounds positively interesting, possibly, maybe, whatever. <laughs> I know. You're, you're being kind of cryptic. I think you're quite yeah, often cryptic. No, no. Me. No, no, I it, it, no, it's not fair to no, no, say anything on an interview before something's formally decided, indeed, but, but obviously we've been it. discussing, yeah. And are you staying full I think you make a brilliant lead. Yeah, are you going to stay full, the full term? Yeah. Yeah. So let's look ahead to this next 12 months. What have you got planned? Mm, there's a lot bubbling away in the background that I really can't talk about at the moment. Oh. Um, what, some big stuff? Potentially. Potentially. Rocking, potentially. You know, rocking the government big stuff? Potentially. Hi. We'll see. Early days to gather all the stuff. You know How, me, Paul. I yeah. spend a lot of time doing my research and getting everything together. And, I was going to come to that. and then sometimes it goes nowhere, and sometimes you think, oh, this has got to go somewhere. And this is back to whistleblowers, right? I mean, for you, in a sense, people feed you information. You, the party, oh, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. and and and, but they can't just go and say it to anybody else. They need you as a conduit, as a the opposition, maybe, mm. to do it. Yeah. Is, what's the state of government then when people can't say things but, but have to rely on you? And you have used anonymity, I guess, to some degree a lot of the time, don't I you? would never reveal who tells me anything. Yeah. Does that make it harder, though, to actually make a point? Or do you just put it out there, you know, ask a question on something and hope you're going to get the right an It depends an on the scenario. Mm. Sometimes it's a question because information can't be got any other way. Uh, sometimes it's a question to highlight that there is a problem in a certain area. Um, obviously, sometimes it's more than that. Do you feel you make progress? Yeah. And w when you go into two more, the, you know, that monthly sort of, uh, <laughs> do you, you look sometimes quite frustrated mm -hmm. because you can clearly not get any, an answer that you want to hear, or you're being shut down, or you know, the, mm -hmm. you, you oh know yeah, yeah. That. Everyone can follow what's happening there. Government think that they're being clever at times. Uh, by saying, I don't understand something, etc., yeah. etc. I think that's one of the Chief Minister's favourite. Mrs. Beecroft doesn't understand. Um, I think you'll find I actually do understand. Mm. He shuts you down a bit, doesn't he? Of course he does. And so do the Council of Ministers. You, you, will, you will see that happen. Would you want to stand as Chief Minister again as the next, if you, you know, you're going to do it? I mean, I let's ask that question now. Are you going to stand again? I haven't made my mind up yet, Paul. Okay. Um, so I don't know. Okay. And pop two of that. And if you did stand again, would you put yourself up, or would it be the, whoever the leader is at the time would go against whoever else is up? I mean, would the Live Vans have a policy? Of that is standing? something we would discuss, and obviously the members' point of view would be taken into consideration as well. At that. How point. is your membership? Are you on a drive, aren't you? Membership drive-ish. Oh, we always are. We always need more people. We always try to reach out to more people. Because um, people complain that they see the politicians once every five years and mm. all that. Well, they don't have to wait five years. Anybody, and you don't have to be a member, anybody can come to our monthly meetings. You know, you can hold us to account every month. You can ask the questions that you want, to, uh, that you want the answers to. Yeah, we'll, we'll give you the answers. You've got two MHKs there all the time. Will we see party politics? <laughs> I'm asking questions, I know I'm gonna, what answer I'm going to get, but party politics is still the way forward is what you're going to say back to me, but I'm going to ask you the question anyway. Is, oh, yeah, it's is the, only, it it's the only way really to have a voice um, and to have a say in the direction of government. I mm. mean, at the moment, uh, in my opinion, certainly you have a government which is nothing more than a political party because they signed to collective responsibility between themselves, but it's formed after the election. So you have no say. Mm. The public have no say in the policies of that government because the government per se doesn't have a set of policies because it isn't. They don't know who's going to be in it till after the next after the election. Are you looking over your shoulder a bit now? You know, you've got the Green parties. You've got probably the Labour Party reviving. I don't know. I think it's great. I think it just ah, proves that okay. there is a future for po po political parties on the Isle of Man, reg regardless of the spin that's put on it by some saying we don't want them. Yeah. More and more people are seeing uh, the advantages of them and seeing the lack of democracy that there is in the current system. How do you stand out from the crowd though? Because you kind of got these people all, well, you're playing the same bits, aren't you, on the green issues as well, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you've got the Green Party that stands on that thing. Definitely, yeah. And we then you agree with them, yeah. So would you see yourself combining with us then, maybe, mm. at all? 
I your... wonder, I can't see that. No, I think it's a good thing to have different parties, to have, so people have a choice of the policies. Um, I mean, we've no way of knowing whether our policies would be the same in any other area. Mm. I mean, we salute them for starting a party and for highlighting the green issues, which are terribly important. But as I say, we, I don't know their okay. other... What have you got... Uh, coming forward then, back to that, you got any particular things you can talk about? Is there, or are you just happy with the direction of travel at the minute? Or have you got anything particular that you, you want to see past that you can talk about? Um, We're in tr tricky water here because you keep saying things that you, ha you can't talk about. So, well, yeah, that, until you get, until yeah. I get things to a certain point, but then I can't talk about them, obviously, okay. because I don't know. Um, that you want to see done? Yeah, there's one, and I'm trying to think of the wording well. <laughs> Well, I'm talking to you. There's a general petition um, that I've picked up, and it's about uh, public servants. Oh, but I can't remember. You the picked up what, what, one of those Timwall the uh, general petitions. petitions. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting though because so many of those are asked each year now. So obviously not all can be picked up anyway. But uh, there's a lot been uh, there's a lot been put down this year. But this one sort of resonated with me with the problems um, that I had when I was health minister. Do you want to talk about health at all? Yeah, sure, if you want to ask me anything. Well, where are you up to? I mean, you know, you, you said last year you were very happy the way the new minister's handling things. You seem to be... But, yeah, you've, you've asked a few questions of, of him. Mm -hmm. um, you've always been worried about health, yeah, clearly. Still, I and you'd like it back, that. I think you said last time. Too. Sorry? You'd like it back if you could. <laughs> That's always been the job I wanted, yeah. you know, that. Um, yeah, which is why it particularly hurt me, obviously, when I got sacked from that position. No, you resigned. With no... Oh, we had we had a on. big debate about that. Remember? Uh, yeah, you you put you you jump before you push, but in all well, I was all. told if I didn't resign, I'd yeah. be sacked. So, so health, are you happy with what you see? I'm hopeful. I'm not happy with things the way they are at the moment, um, but I'm hopeful for the future. Do you think the I'm morale's okay? The, and what, no, you, no. Right. I'm here. I'm hearing that the morale um, is quite low at the moment. It's always low, though, isn't it? I mean, it shouldn't be always low. No, I know it shouldn't. If progress is being made, it shouldn't always be low. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's not every department. There's very many good stories you hear about. Oh, listen, the it must be quite hard on, on the the medics people are, hearing these things. Like everyone thinks when I have concerns about health that I'm criticising the medics, mm. the nurses, and the doctors, and I'm not. No. I think it's they, management is it? They do fantastic work in very difficult circumstances at times, and. I just take my hat off to all of them. So I want to put that down. I am definitely not criticising okay. them in any way, shape or form. Okay, well, we'll watch the space. Let's see year four before you know it. Let's have some numbers for you then this year. How do you rate yourself out of 10, Mrs Beecroft? Mm. See how firm I was there with you? Because you don't like doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing it. I'd I know. really much rather other people but did it. But you're like the chief minister when he goes, Mrs Beecroft. It's, it's <laughs> that thing, isn't it? It's very intimidating, I always think. <laughs> I don't get intimidated you know, easy. You, you should you know that by now, too. Um, so how do you rate yourself? On results this year, I'd probably rate myself, uh, including the pine wood stuff. Mm -hmm. I would say maybe seven or eight. It's the last 12 months we're talking about, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's in the last 12 Indeed. months. Indeed. So Indeed. I submitted my evidence, yeah, yeah. written evidence a year ago and just submitted so, my... So you gave it what? Sorry? An eight? You seven, or eight seven or eight, including seven. that. Probably about a six without it. Oh, well, no. Because that's all taken up a heck of all a lot of my fine. time. All in's fine. I think it was seven last year, so or seven point something. And then the government last year, you gave a point nine, I think. And we had a, we God, I've forgotten about well, that. Well, I had to double check it. I mean, you didn't really want to do it at all, to be fair. But no, come I didn't. on, this year, no. come on, woman up. As I say, man up. You can't say that. Woman up. <laughs> Are you politically correct? I know, I know, I know, I know. We were, we were just talking about we that. Stay on air. What you can do, what you can't say. How do you describe the government in, num in a number between one and ten? Um, their competency or their rating in, in general, whatever. How you ever want. Point seven. You gone up? No, you gone, point gone down. Down. You point mm. nine before. Sorry. Mm. Point seven. You're almost mm. zero, basically. Okay, we're, we're, we're limping along. That, that's that's pretty. You know, you have no faith in them, right? No. Wow. I d well, I don't have much faith in the system. So, this it's a system that needs to change, so that you can have faith in a government. How can you have faith in an undemocratic system?